Hello friends, it's Miss Yacklin again. Today's lesson is gonna be about shapes. I'm gonna teach you the names of six different shapes and we're gonna go over the different ways that you can describe those shapes. Today, we're learning about our shapes. Okay, so let's look at the word shapes. Does everyone see this word shapes? I underlined it in red for you so you can see it. Let's see, what letters make up our word shapes? We have S, H, a, P, E, S, shapes. And remember when our S and our H are together, like this in a word, they make the sh sound. Why don't you practice making that sound? Sh, right? right at the beginning of shapes. Okay, so what are shapes? Let's talk about shapes for a little bit, talk about what they are and how we can see them in the world, okay? So everything in the world has a shape, including you and me. Shapes are the words we use to describe how things look. Today, we're gonna learn about six different shapes. Before we learn about our shapes though, we're gonna talk about how many sides a shape has and how many vertices it has. So you might not have heard this word, these words before, but we're, so we're gonna go over what each of these words means, okay? So sides are the flat lines of a shape. So if you look at this shape right here, we see all these flat lines. So I'm drawing red next to all the flat lines. So let's go ahead and count how many flat lines that we just saw. One, two, three, four. So this shape has four sides. So we, we could write four sides, right? Vertices are where two sides meet and are also called corners. So they're called vertices or they're called corners, but it's where two sides meet. So if we look at side one and side two, they meet right here in this spot right here. That's called our corner, our vertice. So let's count how many corners or vertices do we have in this shape. So we have one right here, and then we have two, three, and four. So this shape also has four vertices. Sometimes our shapes, like this one right here, have no sides and no vertices. Do you see any flat sides on this shape? It kind of curves around like this, so I can't really draw a flat line next to it. So some of our shapes are not gonna have sides or vertices, and there's a special name for this shape, and we're gonna go over it later. But this shape has no sides and no vertices. So the first shape that we're going to go over is called the square. So go ahead and look at this word right here. This is the word square, okay? We're going to go over each letter. S, Q, U, A, R, E, square. So let's say it all together. Square, very good. Okay, we're going to count the number of sides and the number of vertices that a square has. So let's go ahead and look at our blue square, and we're gonna draw a line for each side. So one, two, three, and four. So we can write the number four right here next to sides. It has four sides. So let's count how many vertices. And remember, vertices are also called corners. So I'm going to write the word corners underneath this word. How many corners, how many vertices does this have? One, two, three, four. So a square has four sides and four vertices. There's also one more special thing that we need to know about squares. All the sides are the same length. That means all of the sides 
all these one, two, three, four sides of our square are all going to be the same size, okay? Our next shape we're going to learn about is called the triangle. See if you can say that. Triangle. Let's go over each letter of our triangle. One. Oh. <laughs> Oops. T. Sorry. <laughs> R. I. A. N. G. L. E. Let's go over those letters again. T. R. I. A. N. G. L. E. E, that spells triangle. So let's count the sides and the vertices of our triangle. So we have one side, two, three sides. So we're going to write the number three next to where it says sides right here. We're going to count our vertices now, our corners. So we have our one and two meet. That's going to be our first corner corner, our first vertice, one, two, and three. So our triangle has three sides and three vertices. Ooh, our next shape is a special shape. This is called the circle, okay? Circle. So let's go over the letters in the word circle. C, I, R, C, L, E, circle. Now you try to say it. Circle. The C in this letter makes a kind of an S sound, so it's a little bit weird, but it's circle. Take a look at our circle, though. Can we draw any flat lines next to our circle? No, they kind of they kind of go off into these weird directions. If I wanted to draw a line around my circle, it'd have to be a little bit curved, a little round like this. So my circle, my circle doesn't have any sides, so I'm going to write zero sides. So if my circle doesn't have any sides, does it have any place for where two sides can meet? Are there any corners or any, anything looks like this, like a vertice? Well, I don't, I don't see that, so I'm going to write the number zero for vertices also. So like I said, a circle has no sides or vertices, so it has zero sides and zero vertices. That's what makes this shape special because most, almost all other shapes have sides and vertices. The circles have no sides and no vertices. All right, let's look at our next shape. This is called the rectangle. So let's go ahead and spell the word rectangle. R, E, C, T, A, N, G, L, E, rectangle. Now you try. Nice, very nice, rectangle. So let's go over our sides and vertices. So we have one side, two, three, and four. So our rectangle has four sides. So how many vertices do you think it has? Hmm, let's see, let's count. One, two, three, four. There's four vertices also. There's one special thing about our rectangle though, because I know if we, if we think, we can go back and we can think, hmm, our square also had four sides and four vertices. But what makes our square different than our rectangle? Well, if you look at our rectangle, a rectangle has two long sides, so these long sides on here, this side, long sides right here, these long sides, and it has two short sides, so these are short sides, short little sides. So if you want to know the difference between a square and a rectangle, remember a rectangle has two long sides and two short sides, and a square, all the sides are the same. Ooh, our next shape is called a hexagon. You try to say that. Hexagon. Let's spell it. H-E-X-A-G-O-N. Hexagon. Very good. 
So let's go ahead and count our sides on our hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Our hexagon has six sides. Let's see how many vertices it has. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Our hexagon has six sides and six vertices. Try to think of the, anything that you've ever seen that looks like a hexagon that has six sides and six vertices. Our last shape that we're going to talk about is called the rhombus. This kind of looks like another shape. There's also another name for this shape. But let's go ahead and spell rhombus first, and then we'll talk about it. R H O M B U S, rhombus. The other name for our shape that's called a rhombus is also called a diamond. So look at the word diamond. D I A M O N D, diamond. So let's count how many sides and how many vertices does our rhombus or diamond have? So we have one, two, three, four sides, and one, two, three, four vertices. So yeah, like I said before, a rhombus is also called a diamond. And this is a special shape because it's turned to where the points are going up and down and left and right. Instead of what a square, if you look at a square, you can see how they're different. So if you turned a square, if you turned a square this way, it would look like a diamond or a rhombus. Okay, now we're going to do an activity together where we're going to look at a classroom and we're going to see what kinds of shapes that we just learned about can we see in our classroom. So I want you to go ahead, I want you to look at it for a little bit. I want you to think. I'm going to give you a few seconds to think about it, to look see what you can see. And then maybe you'll see the shapes that I see in the classroom. Okay, let's look at this picture. Let's see, we're gonna look for some circles. Okay, remember a circle is a shape that doesn't have any sides or any vertices. I see some big ones first. So if you look at these little things hanging from the ceiling, they look like circles to me. Did you see these? I hope you did. And all these little things back here, they also look like circles to me. Maybe the O in the word four, that looks like a circle. Or these balloons, they look like circles too. Let's see, hmm, what about any squares? Hmm, well I looked at the floor and I saw some squares. I saw an orange one, a green one, kind of a hidden yellow one, maybe this blue one right here. I also saw these bags in the back of the class. They look like squares too. Or these, these little presents up front. Those also look like squares. What about a triangle? Did you see a triangle in here? I saw a few. Let's see. There's a little flag right here. That looks like a triangle. Or this one over here. There's a few flags in here that look like triangles. 
What about a rectangle? Hmm. Oh, I notice that this table looks like a rectangle. I notice this board over here looks like a rectangle. Ooh, maybe even the windows back here look like a rectangle. Or this cabinet. What about a hexagon? Hmm, I don't know. I didn't see anything in this picture that looks like a hexagon. Remember, a hexagon is six sides and six vertices. So I don't know. Maybe you can tell me if you see a shape that looks like this in the picture. Or rhombus. Did anyone see a rhombus? Rhombus. I remember this shape is called a hexagon. I don't know, did anyone see a rhombus in this picture? I didn't see a rhombus, but there might be one hidden in here somewhere. So if you see one, you should write me a message and tell me that you saw a rhombus. Okay, so I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Let's do a quick review of the shapes that we went over today. So we learned about square, we learned about triangle, we learned about circle, we learned about rectangle, we learned about hexagon, and we learned about rhombus. Okay, so what you're gonna do, now that you've watched this video, is you're gonna do two things. You're gonna practice drawing the shapes and writing their names. Um, I'll have a worksheet where you can do that on my website, or you can do it on a piece of paper. So you can just grab a piece of paper and you can look at the video and go over each shape as we talk about them and practice drawing the shape and then writing the name for each shape. The second thing you're gonna do is I want you to look in your house and I want you to find something that is in the shape of one of the shapes that we talked about. So if I was gonna do that in my house, if you look at behind me, there's a little flag right here, and that's in the shape of a triangle. So I have a flag that's shaped like a triangle in my house. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna look in your house, or if you go on a walk later with your family, you can look for things outside that have those shapes, but I want you to try and name the shape that you see in your house, okay? So I really hope that you had fun learning about shapes today and that you get to play this game in your house and when you're out for a walk later. Bye-bye.